CIETNCERT presents the program on Param Veer Chakar Awardi Company Quartermaster Havildar Abdul Hamid Company Quartermaster Havildar Abdul Hamid was born on 1st July 1933 at village Thamupur of Ghazipur district of Uttar Pradesh He was enrolled in the four grenadiers on 27th December 1954 During the 1965 Indo-Pak war he exhibited exceptional bravery and personal courage as commander of a RCL gun detachment and put up a gallant fight He was posthumously awarded the highest wartime gallantry medal Param Veer Chakra for his sustained act of bravery and disregard for personal safety Dhamupur is a small village in Ghazipur district of Uttar Pradesh There was a lot of activity outside a tailoring shop Hello uncle is my suit ready Yes yes please wait a minute Uh excuse me uh please stitch these quickly can you <laughs> Yes yes bhai jaan Abdul Abdul please take measurements properly I want to do something bigger I want to serve my country One day a friend of Abdul Hamid who was in the army came visiting You look so good in uniform. I too want to join the army. Why don't you? You are a good sportsman. It will be easy for you. Young Abdul Hamid approached his father seeking permission to join the army. Abba, I want to join the army. Why? You should stay at home. stitch clothes and earn a decent living Abdul Hamid's father rushed home to speak to Abdul's mother Your son wants to join the army Ha huh? We should find a bride for him once he has children he will forget the army Soon Abdul Hamid was married to Rasoolan Bibi But even after marriage Abdul Hamid was not happy stitching clothes or working in the fields Why are you so depressed I want to do something big I want to serve the nation Then why don't you I will always stand by you Abdul Hamid went to the army recruitment rally. He fulfilled all the eligibility criteria. Very good. Your fitness level is good. Thank you, sir. Ya Abdul, you did very good. Abdul Hamid was enrolled into the 4th Battalion of the Grenadiers on December 7, 1954. He was a passionate soldier and excelled in all military exercises and games. In 1962, when China attacked India, 4 Grenadiers was deployed at the Thagla Ridge, Nepha, now Arunachal Pradesh. Wave after wave of Chinese soldiers kept attacking the Indian defenses. After the India-China war, Abdul Hamid was tasked to undergo training to operate the 106 mm recoilless gun mounted on the Second World War Willys Jeep. Aim for the enemy tank. 
Wait for it to come in range, and then fire. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. Abdul Hamid did extremely well and was soon promoted as an instructor to train younger recruits. Shabash, you have done extremely well. We are proud of you. Thank you, sir. In September 1965, Pakistan attacked India again in Jammu and Kashmir and Punjab. Company quartermaster Havaldar Abdul Hamid was on leave, listening to the radio. This is All India Radio, and now a news flash: Pakistan has attacked India. All leave has been cancelled. All soldiers report for duty. I saw a bad dream. I'm very worried. Please take care. I am a soldier. You are a soldier's wife. Don't worry. Four grenadiers were tasked to defend the Khemkaran Bhiki Wind Axis from Pakistani armor attack. Pakistan has brand new Patton tanks. They have infrared night fighting capabilities. Remain alert 24 hours. Yes, sir. Abdul Hamid was tasked to man the recoilless gun, the most basic infantry weapon against enemy tank. Come on, be quick, 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 quick. Quickly dig trenches. Yeah, our defenses have to be very strong. Yes, yes sir. sir. Throughout the night, they waited in the sugarcane fields for the Pakistani assault. On 8th September 1965, around 8.30 in the morning, the first three Pakistani tanks were seen approaching. Wait, 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 wait. Let them come closer, closer, in range. Fire! Fire! His RCL gun found its target and another Pakistani tank went up in flames. crew perished. Quickly changing flank, Abdul Hamid targeted the third Pakistani tank on day one of the assault. Shabash Abdul, you have destroyed three tanks single-handedly. Excellent shot. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, sir. It is our teamwork. We will die for the country. No, Abdul. You will win for the country. You have to live and train another generation of soldiers. Yes, sir! All through the night, Abdul Hamid slept on the co-driver's seat of his jeep, alert for another armor assault. The fourth tank tried to turn around but quickly changing flank, Abdul Hamid and his jeep driver, Muhammad Naseem, went closer to the tank. Quick, quick, quick! Don't let him get away! No, brother, he will not get away. The fourth tank also met the same fate. Bang! The tank went up in flames. Its crew perished. The Indian camp was jubilant. This was the first time in the history of warfare that so many brand new Pakistani tanks had been destroyed by the basic anti-tank weapon. The jeep-mounted RCL, 
Abdul Hamid was recommended for a Paramvir Chakra for his unparalleled bravery. But the task was far from over. A very desperate Pakistani army on 10th September launched another attack along with a massive airstrike. Then the Pakistani artillery opened up with their big guns. Despite the shelling, taking grave risk to his life, the driver Muhammad Naseem and Abdul Hamid drove towards the Pakistani tanks. Quick, 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 quick! Pakistani tanks are going towards the roadhead. Let's stop them! Yes, yes, Abdul! As soon as they approached the Pakistani tanks, Abdul Hamid once again took aim. Fire! And one more Pakistani tank went up in flames. Just as the driver Mohammed Naseem was turning the jeep, a bullet hit him in the shoulder. Ah! Uh, Abdul! By then, the Pakistani commander had realized the danger that Abdul Hamid's jeep posed to the Pakistani tanks. He turned the turret towards the jeep. Abdul Hamid too aimed for the tank. The bravest of the brave, CQMH Abdul Hamid had made the supreme sacrifice of his life. Came Karan Sector and the Battle of Asal Uttar was like the Battle of Waterloo for Pakistani armour. They lost over 100 tanks and their famed one armoured division suffered irreplaceable losses. The area of the battle thereafter came to be known as Patan Nagar. Never in the history of warfare have so many tanks been destroyed by any infantryman. A feat achieved by CQMH Abdul Hamid of four grenadiers who destroyed eight Pakistani tanks with his 106 recoilless gun before laying down his life for the nation. He was awarded the Paramvir Chakra posthumously for this daring act. Sarvada Shakti Shali Company Quartermaster Havildar Abdul Hamid. You were just listening to this program. Academic Coordinator Rajesh Kumar Nimesh. Technical Coordination Bati Lang Lingdo. Sound Recordist Vikas Sangwan. Technical Assistants Shanu Muksim. Artists Babla Kocher, Gaurav Marwaha, Richa Sayal, Vaibhav Srivastav, and R.S. Raghu. Production Assistant Kusum Lata. Guidance, Vandana Arimardhan and Ajit Horo. Special Acknowledgement, National Book Trust, India. Director and Producer, Vimlesh Chaudhary. This program is presented to you by CIET-NCERT, New Delhi, India.